What's up, everyone? I'm back. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Sorry that this video is coming out a little bit late. Um, lots been going on, uh, so I'm just here to talk about it. So, first off, bad news. I don't really have a lot of uh, running footage for this week, hence the short intro. Um, yeah, I'm going to go into that as well, in addition to what that is. So, first and foremost, we are less than six weeks away from the Tokyo Marathon. Everything's looking pretty good on my end. A couple of items I do want to talk about, though. So, first and foremost, uh, let's talk about last week, which was Hell Week. Now, you might be wondering, what is Hell Week? So, traditionally in the past, in marathon and Ironman training, about a month to a month and a half before the race, I have one or two weeks dedicated, uh, just 100% focused on trying to smash the goal I set for myself in training. So in this particular case, my goal was to run 80 miles, and for three weeks in a row, I couldn't run that 80 mile week. Also, I wasn't running any 20 milers, so my particular hell week, one, was to smash the 80 miler, two, run a 20 miler plus, if it was possible, and three, uh, we'll talk about three in just a minute here, but basically the recap here is I did run my 20 miler, and in fact, I ran almost 21 miles, in a time of 219 and change. So the conditions on Saturday was a lot of snow, a little bit of flurries, a little bit of rain, a lot of ice on the trail. So to be able to run a sub 220 for almost 21 miles was actually really amazing. So everything's looking good for potentially breaking that sub three wall. Of course, the last 10K is always the wild card. Um, for my second hell week, which is not this week, but next week, I'm going to try to run about 28 to 30 miles as my long run. 30 miles. Um, so that's kind of the first thing. And then, of course, um, I decided last minute. So actually what ended up happening was I originally said in the previous video that I was going to do the F3 half marathon. But I knew that if I was going to do it, it was going to be a last minute decision. And I ended up choosing not to do the race. And that was because I wanted to run this 20 miler. So of course the next item on our list here is that because it is, so today is January 27th and the big talk here is this coronavirus which uh, is originating in uh, China. And there's fear that, well it's already here in Chicago, there's apparently two confirmed cases, but there's a lot of fear that uh, some of that virus might end up in Tokyo, whether it just spread from China or because people from all over the world gather in Tokyo at one, in one week on like all these planes and hotels and they just all gather in the marathon that the virus could spread that way. So we are monitoring the Tokyo Marathon situation on that. You know, I'm trying to see if the race organizers are going to say anything, um, if we might just play it safe and not do the marathon, but I'm all on board to do this race, but I would rather, in this particular case, and my family would agree, we would rather not risk getting quarantined or getting getting sick and then getting quarantined for two weeks plus over just trying to run a marathon, which you can do the year after or five years from now, you know? Yeah, the Tokyo Marathon is a once in a lifetime experience, but it's not worth doing over, you know, potentially contracting a serious deadly virus. So that's something we're monitoring, but again, the plan is still to run the marathon and I'm still pretty stoked about doing it. Um, and those were really the three big things I wanted to talk about. So in, in addition to running 80 miles during Hell Week, the second piece of Hell Week was that I started my new job. Long story short, I used to work in desktop support in IT and I was doing that during my uh, bachelor's and my master's programs. And then when I finished my master's, the plan was to transition into the field of my master's study. Just last week, I started a position uh, in cybersecurity, and I was working new hours, and I was trying to adjust you know, the morning and the evening workouts to work with this nine to five schedule, because previously I was working seven to 3.30, and I had this huge block of time at night where I could just put all my workouts together. But this time around, if I'm working nine to five, I have this window from 5.30 a.m. to about 8 a.m. Uh, to do a workout, and then I also have this window from 5.30 p.m. till 10 p.m. if I wanted to, to also have another workout. 
So basically during Hell Week, I just went all in and I just did doubles every single day during that nine to five window. Um, it definitely taxed uh, my knees and my hip flexor a lot. And now it's coming up to my ankles here, but uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I think I'm just gonna take a rest day with tomorrow morning's workout, but I'm still gonna do an evening workout. I do have some tempo intervals planned. And yeah, of course, because I don't have any running footage from this week, the least I can do is show you what's in that. So without further ado, Let's get to it. Life lesson, always cut away from you. The next percent, the Akedan edition. Oh my god, look at these. One is like the orange with like the blue offset, and then the other one is blue with like the orange offset. It's still the same next percent, but there's two different color shoes. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna break these in tomorrow during this tempo run. Um, these look sick. If the Tokyo Marathon is definitely happening, then I'm definitely gonna use these. So yeah, we're gonna break them in probably tomorrow, have maybe the tempo intervals and have just some easy run during the week and then the rest is going to be in a Pegasus Turbo or in my uh, pink next percents which I'm going to finally retire after probably one more distance run but uh, yeah these look sick I'm stoked about these so again thanks for watching the video uh, definitely like and subscribe to this channel and then next week I'll have some more content coming up for you uh, basically revolving around potentially running an 18 miler some tempo intervals some other easy runs and just trying to get a 70 mile week as a recovery week so thanks for watching i'll see you guys real soon